Well, awesome. Yep. This All is right. uh, the beginning of getting to know the first one. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're here with uh, we're here with Unblock. This is Dong Wan Shin. Um, and he's going to actually present a bunch of information for us. He has some demonstrations for some of his apps and I'm actually really excited about this. So um, Dong Wan, I actually wanted to get started with just a little bit on your background, if possible. All right. Um... First of all, uh, thanks for uh, having me, and uh, thanks for uh, organizing this interview. It's a it's a pleasure. Uh, my name is Dong Won Shin. I'm from uh, South Korea, and um, a little bit of uh, my background. Um, before I began my career in crypto, I was a professional uh, StarCraft player, the video game, for um, eleven years, and. Uh, while I was uh, finishing up my career, uh, uh, gamer career in the US in uh, 2015, I got to know about Bitcoin. And, um, uh, you know, the more I studied, the more interested I got into it. So uh, after my retirement in 2016, I started my career in crypto as a business research manager at uh, BR Partners which is a um, crypto-based uh, incubating company. And in there, um, we incubated Chilis, one of the uh, biggest sports tokenized platform, basically from uh, zero to one. So I learned quite a lot there. And later I joined Chilis as a senior partnership manager for the Asian market. And um, after Chilis, I um, co-founded Chainstreet, which is a blockchain consulting firm. And uh, we uh, accelerated uh, more than um, 10 projects there. And um, yeah, I've, I'd say uh, I've had, had, had this uh, crypto experience from uh, various ways, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you've been involved for a good bit. That's cool that you started with StarCraft. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, there's kind of like a funny, sort of like a funny, like humble beginnings for everybody where it's like you you played video games, you were kind of like in the scene where Bitcoin was just starting. And for some reason, like there's that bridge where people that started playing video games, like were able to, to network with people that were like also involved in crypto. So it's like this crypto and the video game world, they've been like, they've been really like closely related in a way. Yeah, you're it's, right. It's it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. You it sounds like you you know you've been involved for a good bit. You you accelerated a bunch of platforms. Um, you you already have your experience. So, um, and now you're on to OnBlock. Like, what what inspired you to to start OnBlock? Can you tell us a little bit more about um, what your company's doing, how it started? Um, and what kind of projects you guys are working on? Yeah, sure. Um, so Unblog is a blockchain software development company founded in uh, April 2022. We are um, we are a team of seven now, and we're building Adena, a non-custodial wallet, and Gnoskin, a blockchain explorer, and Gnoswap, uh, an AMM DEX. Hey. So, yeah, how we started. Um, so uh, I've always had these ideas to make blockchain software easy to use. And um, I wanted to uh, build blockchain software. And I saw Jay, I saw that uh, Jay was working on a new smart contract platform. So I had a look, I had a look at it and I I I really like the vision behind, uh, you know, Gnoland. You know why he started and uh, what he wants to achieve, and you know how he plans to make like developer oriented ecosystem. So it's like you know transparency, fairness, and censorship resistance towards mass adoption. That was 
yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty clear and straightforward to me. So yeah, that was just enough for me to, uh, you know, jump in and, uh, you know, kick off my journey in Gnome land. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of, I definitely identify with that. So just out of curiosity, how many people work at Unblock? Is it, it's you and... We are uh, seven now. Okay. Yeah, seven people. So we have um, uh, five developers and myself and you. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, so slowly expanding, but I imagine, you know, once once no land mainnet hits, like, and no swap is kind of a, a viable product and no scans doing more things, like, it's going to be really interesting. So, um, you know, Adena is like the first wallet for Noland. Um, right. I think it's a good, probably a good opportunity. If did you have some? You said you had like a demonstration you wanted to show for Adena. Like, how does uh, how can people interact with Adena? Like, where do you go to download it, and what can you do yeah. with it? Yeah, sure. Um, can I share the uh, screen? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Right. Uh, do you see my screen? Do you see my screen? Yeah, I just loaded in. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, this is the uh, website for Adena. Uh, you can uh, type adena.app. And in here, um, you can download in Google uh, Web Store right now. And uh, there's this user guide that guides you how to use uh, Adena. So there's a download guide. And we actually support uh, sign in with Google. So you don't have to make like a fit phrase to use Adena. You can just simply log in with your Google account. And um, yeah, that makes it easy. Yeah. So right now, um, Nolan is in testnet. So what can you do with the demo? Yeah, so um, this is the um, main UI for Adena. And in the third app, uh, menu, there's uh, these um, kind of D apps that you can use in Gnoland right now, like Gno Scan, Gno Tools. Oh, you know, you know what's funny is I don't think we can see that because you might just be sharing the window. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me actually uh, share it again. Sorry. No worries. Yeah, I, I've installed Adena and I've played with it a little bit. I just noticed you guys. Um, uh recently no no scan has um capabilities for the grc 20s right right is that going to be incorporated into adena or is it already uh <clears throat> it's already incorporated in adena and do you, do you see my screen uh -huh. oh yeah there we go okay so now now you can see yeah there's the browser extension there's right. the like the adena app and this is currently showing the um the testnet not uh gnot tokens yeah right it's currently we are currently at testnet three right Perfect. now yeah yeah i and, saw you uh, have some some of the grc20 on there already on that main yeah, page it uh, says the the foo <laughs> yeah, i have this uh foo testnet tokens and uh if you uh click the manage token and if you click the plus button here you can uh see all the uh, GRC tokens available right now. You can just okay. simply click and it, it will show like details of the uh, this GRC token and you can simply add and click it. There you have it. So wow. yeah, we, we support GRC20 tokens and uh, we are going to uh, support this uh, GRC721 NFTs soon. And uh, there's this tab of, um, you know, the apps 
that's available to use right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And are those are those NFTs going to be the the like the the ones from the NFT marketplace? Uh, the Tori yeah. one. Yeah, but uh, only uh, Gnola native ones for now. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And um, in the sidebar, uh, you can uh, create as much as a uh, new account as you, you want. And uh, actually, I'm going to uh, send some tokens. And if you wait a bit, it will uh, show up here. But, oh, there we go. Yeah. And uh, we provide all the um, activities in the history tab. And if you click the success button, it will. OK, perfect. Click, yeah, no scan. Go straight so, to no scan. Yeah, there's all the uh, information about your uh, transaction, such as time step, checks hash, uh, you know, network, block, transaction fees. And uh, you can also check loads here. Yeah, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for Adena. And, yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably a perfect um, transitioning point to talk about no scan, like, you know, I played around with it a little bit. There's not much to do because no is on a mainnet, but um, it seems like NoScan is a pretty powerful tool. There's already a lot of functionality. Um, what was your inspiration for for making NoScan? Like, we, obviously, you know, Nolan need, needs some infrastructure, but like, how do you see this evolving? Um, what what kind of things do you, do you plan on implementing? It looks like it's already like very well founded. Yeah, so uh, the, the, the rationale behind uh, building GNOSCAN was that uh, we thought we need a, pl we need a place that um, shows all the on-chain data regarding uh, GNOSCAN, the, the GNOLAND network. So um, the, the core concept of GNOLAND is uh, proof of contribution and smart contract, right? So we wanted to provide um, a place that shows the core concept of GNOLAND. So in the main page, you see the uh, monthly active accounts so that uh, you can, you know about, by, by, by uh, visiting GNOSCAN, you know that, uh, you know, which account is active to make, you know, contributions to GNOLAND. And uh, monthly active boards is um, GNOLAND R board. So it's like a, a blog for uh, GNOLAND. Yeah, so like uh, in this page shows that, um, you know, who are, uh, who, who is making, you know, uh, blog contents in a uh, GNOLAND blog. And um, here uh, you can uh, see the information about uh, Rollums, which is a smart contract in GNOLAND. So, you know, total gas share by, uh, total ga gas share used by uh, Rallum. And uh, here's uh, the newest Rallums, you know, they are just deployed on the Argon uh, VM. And uh, here you can check uh, information about uh, transactions and total fees here. Yeah, and um, you can check all the on-chain data regarding um, the global blockchain here. Blocks, uh, transactions, and uh, volumes. Lastly, uh, tokens. We, we actually uh, just released this um, function uh, last day, yesterday. So you can check. All the information about uh, this jersey token here, like name, symbol, total supply, decimals, path. Path is like a, a smart contract address in GNOLAND, so it's unique. It identifies, you know, your jersey twenty, and uh, we provide all the uh, information about uh, function types. 
and you know logs as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it for um, GNOSCAN. Yeah, that's a that's a ton of information. Like it's very useful. It's it's funny. Like you, you know, you're taking experience that you had from from your from your previous experiences working with these other companies, these other platforms. Even like you said, you you started in um, a, even a different ecosystem, and you're taking everything that's like relevant and mm -hmm. putting that directly into here. Right. It's great. It's powerful. So I mean, you have a Dena. And now you have the no scan, and you said that you have no swap. So what you know what? Um, I honestly didn't expect you to show us no swap. Do you want to hop into that, or should we just kind of like uh, do a couple more questions? Um, yeah, actually, um, I can share a little bit of uh, no swap. Okay, so, exciting. Yeah, this is actually the um, development server that we are actively developing developing on. So uh, it's not. Uh, it's in active development, so please bear with all, all the uh, uh, you know unnecessary designs here. But um, yeah, so um, we wanted to build an AMM, AMM DAX in GNOLAN with the uh, concentrated LP mechanism, which is uh, inspired by uh, you know Unisoft's V3 con concept. So yeah, it, this is the main page. And um, here you can, uh, this is a place where you can check all the infor uh, information about GNOLAN tokens. Mm. So it's just a dummy data right now. So. Yeah, for now, just for the audience, like in the future, yeah. this, this is totally just placeholder information, but mm -hmm. this is what it's going to look like. Yes. This is the that's, main page. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you guys, you guys already have like a, like this is UI. You already have like, um, how's the swapping mechanism work in the background? Yeah. So uh, you can uh, imagine uh, the Unis, the current version of Unisub V three mm -hmm. in uh, uh, in Gnoland. So like we we will provide all the uh, existing functions of Unisub to uh, GNU swap. Okay, perfect. So uh, I feel like some of the audience might not know this, but GRC 20s are permissionless, right? Right. So if you're taking the Uniswap model, no swap is going to work effectively the same. Like you can take a, a smart contract address, mm -hmm. plug it in, and then you're able to swap as long as there's a pool, right? Yeah, right. And um, there's, uh, there's this, uh, repository that we just uh, released uh, that um, anyone can uh, upload their uh, information about GRC20 permissionlessly and free. So yeah, yeah do, you, you can... want to do you want to share that with us? Um, yeah, I, yeah saw sure. I saw the announcement earlier. It was um, like on NoScan, if you apply or if, if you submit your token information, they'll upload it onto um, onto NoScan. But does that apply also to Adena and NoSwap? Yeah, actually, um, this is the uh, the repository I'm talking about. I was talking about, and okay. <clears throat> it's on block slash gno dash token dash resource. And here, um, there's a there's there there are these guys that. Uh, you know, if you wanna upload uh, the information about your GRC training, there's this guide, and you can just permissionlessly make a PR, and we're going to uh, review if you know just minimum review if it's not a, a scam or just you know just minimum review, and then. Uh, Adena and Gnoscan are actually uh, using this repository as the resource, as the token resource right now. And once uh, Gnoswap, uh, once we launch Gnoswap, uh, you know, better version, the Gnoswap will be connected to this repository for the uh, token resource as well. That's excellent. Yeah. So. 
there will be one plugin for everything that you do with the GRC20. As far as right. as far as on blocks products, which is great. Yeah, right. And other um, services built on Gnolan, if they need any uh, resource of if they any if if they need any uh, token resource, they can always use this uh, repository uh, freely. It's completely permissionless, and as it as we wrote down here, uh, we are uh, committed providing uh, these token resources free in a collaborated and open source manner. That's so awesome. Yep. Yeah, that's and, really uh, great. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I yeah. mean, you, Unblock is basically building like like very key infrastructure, like like framework tools that you 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 need in order to interact with the blockchain. Like you have the Explorer, mm -hmm. you have the wallet, you have the A and then like these are all like super key, super like like you know they're clutch. Um, so how how are you kind of seeing this like evolve? How are you how, like what do you envision for like where Unblock? takes these products um we want to see um uh, dfs um in the sectors of uh finance finance nft and um you know game are using our products and um i i want to make these infra tools easy to use and uh, have like a uh, great UX. So basically, uh, I, I want to make my our um, parents to use this, you know, products easily. That's yeah. pretty much my goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Just something that's like fundamental, something that's like very easy to use, and yeah. Um, just transparent right that's the main thing yeah right so i, I had kind of like um thank you so much for the for the demonstrations it's awesome like i don't know how many people have checked out adena wallet but like you can go download that adena.app super easy to use um currently nolan is in mainnet so you know none of that actually holds value but it will that's kind of the goal um, no scans already up and running. Like you can go and check out stuff that's happening on the test. And there's a bunch of like statistics analytics that you can check out for now. Um, but in the future, obviously that's going to be a, a very useful explorer. Um, super excited to see no slot. Uh, I, I kind of forgot to ask, but do you guys have the GRC twenties, um, able to be swapped on there? Or is that something you guys are testing right now? Uh, we're, we're not there yet. So uh, there's not much to show uh, for GnoSub right now because uh, mm -hmm. a lot of work are being done in uh, contract and backend side for now. So okay. yeah, we need more um, testing and um, the uh, we need some functions in the Gno, Gno core. So we are actively uh, working with the core members of GnoLand to be able to um, build GnoSwap. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so there's, I mean, there's a lot of collaboration that's happening there between um, the core team and, and OnBot because you guys are essentially telling them what you need in order to make cool products, right? Right. Yeah, so, so I mean, this kind of leads into my next question. Like, why did you, why did you decide to build on No in the first place? Um, you, you, kind, you kind of answered it like a little bit because you said, you know, like you identify with Jaquan's vision. Um, but is there anything in like the the technology that has you excited about it? Um, yeah, as I said before, uh, I really liked uh, Jazz Vision about Gnoland, you know, and um, I wanted to build this uh, blockchain software really easy to use for mass adoption, and his vision was very clear that uh, he wants transparency and fairness and censorship registration towards mass adoption. So yeah, it, it, it was just that uh, that made uh, made me start my journey in Gnolan. And um, yeah, that's... So, 
So just really quickly, was OnBlock started with the intention of working on no land? Yes. Yes. Okay. Basically. So did, before that, did you have any background in Cosmos or like just immediately before? What were you doing before uh, no land? Uh, I've I've been a long follower of Cosmos, but uh -huh. I've had a chance to uh, build something in uh, Cosmos. But uh, Peter, one of our uh, co-founders, he has experience of uh, building a D app in Cosmos, the no, app chain in Cosmos called uh, Lunagram. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's like a Telegram with a uh, Cosmos wallet integrated. So yeah, he's been a long uh, follower of Cosmos as well. So we are quite uh, family, familiar with the uh, culture of uh, Cosmos, yeah. Cool, yeah. So I mean, it sounds like you know there's a couple of people on the team that have some experience. Like you guys kind of understand Cosmos in general. Um, yeah, it's kind of interesting with like what with uh, with all the developments that have been happening. But um, mm -hmm. Nolan is definitely a Cosmos product, and it sounds like OnBlock kind of like took the took the opportunity to sort of um, to be one of the first people to contribute and to be there at like the at the ground level like pushing tools and, and framework and making sure that everything that's like, like everything that you sort of need is there so that other people can, can build on top of that. It's awesome. Um, so one of my next questions was, how do you, how do you hope to see OnBlock's collaboration with No impacting the overall No Land ecosystem? Um, I, I strongly believe that uh, this uh, infra tools have to be free and permissionless for permissionless to use for developers uh, to for the uh, growth of the ecosystem. So I'm committed uh, to uh, providing that, and um, <clears throat> I I think consensus played a important role for the success of the Ethereum ecosystem with their uh, infra tools such as you know, MetaMask, Infura, and more. And yeah, just if you look at the um, successful uh, smart contract platforms, such as uh, Solana, they have, you know, Phantom and SoulScan as their, uh, you know, core infra tools. And even Cosmos as, you know, Kepler and MintScan, right? So I think we need to have these uh, native infra tools for our layer one for the success of you know the ecosystem so yeah i i but uh, this doesn't mean that we want an exclusive partnership with gno we don't want an exclusive partnership with gno so yeah we want competition right so we are going for the uh, bigger pie here yeah and, uh, I, I kind of want to um, see our uh, collaboration as, um, oh, Gnoland and OnBlock are le leading um, the masses to the blockchain ecosystem. So I want to build my DFs there. I want to I wanna build my applications in Gnoland. Yeah, that's what uh, I want our collaboration to uh, look like. Yeah. yeah, that that was actually kind of like a little bit related to my next question is like, do you like, how do you see on block um, integrating with other chains, other services? Um, you know, like, basically, what it sounds like is you want to build these awesome, like foundational tools so that when you go to build the thing that you want to build, like everything's there. Do you do you have like something just like inspiration, like do you have something in mind for for your DAP? Like, what are you trying to do? I mean, that's yeah, kind of a tough uh, question, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I we wanna position our uh, infra tools as Gnoland based products. So. Um, you know, as Gnoland expands to other chains and ecosystems, we will, uh, you know, expand our um, 
will we will open to other chains and uh, ecosystems if that make any sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you're basically here like providing the tools so that people can be ready, so that you can also be ready to create your product. Right. It's awesome. So um, one of my next questions was, uh, well, actually kind of wanted to like lead people to like the next steps here. Like if, if somebody's watching this and they're super interested in, in OnBlock or NoLand, um, like let's talk about what people can do to contribute. Um, mm -hmm. Do you wanna, do you wanna mention uh, the developer portal? Yeah, um, yeah, sure. Uh, we uh, build this, uh, tutorial docs, comprehensive tutorial docs for uh, Gnoland. So um, if you want to know about the details of uh, Gnoland, you can uh, check it out. Is um, how do I share the uh, URL domain? I mean, if you want, you can just present it on the screen so we can all look at it. If you, if that something you feel comfortable with. Yeah, sure. Yeah, do you see my screen? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, so this is a uh, developer portal that we um, released like a month ago so it has uh introduction to gnoland um you know basic concept of uh gnoland like proof of con contribution gnoland and volume and um yeah you can pretty much check out all the um, details regarding um the development in gnoland you know volumes CLI and how to set up uh, how to set up environment uh, development environment and um, there's this uh, docs for RPC endpoints and there are some uh, tutorials as well like how to interact with uh, GNOLED how to start writing a volume and how to port a solid solidity contract to a uh, Gnolang volume. Yeah, so if you are looking to uh, build an application in Gnolang, you should definitely uh, check it out. And yeah, this, this is very thorough. Like I, I've looked through this before and there's some, some, there's quite a few tutorials. The docs are very like detailed from, mm -hmm. for, for anyone that can't see it, I don't, I don't know. If if you if you can see it here on the screen, but it's on block. That's o n b l o b l o c dot gitbook dot i o. Yeah, you can see it right there on the screen. Yeah. So yeah, so for yeah, for anyone that's trying to contribute or get started with Nolan, um, this is a really really good starting point. On block has done a really great job detailing it. Um, a lot of the the steps that you need to take to get started. And, and what about OnBlock? What are you guys, are you guys hiring? Are you guys kind of like, you're content for now? What's the story there? Um, we're um, not actively uh, hiring right now, but if you're interested in our uh, products, you can always uh, message um, myself in uh, Gnome Discord. Uh, we can always uh, have a talk. And I want, um, other uh, developers to use our infra tools so that uh, we can, uh, with their uh, feedback, we can actually improve our uh, products, right? So yeah, uh, please uh, try, out, try out our uh, infra tools and let me know uh, your um, feedback. That'd be great. There you go. If you guys are watching this, download Adena, download or check out NoScan. I think NoSwap's still on the horizon, but uh, Dong Wan wants some feedback. 
So what do you feel like you're personally looking forward to the most with, with no land, with no? But no, um, uh, <clears throat> I want to see um, how many Web2 developers, especially in uh, Golang developers, you know, we can bring to GNOLAND. Like this will be important. And if if you know this goes well, we'll we can make a really good impact on the overall crypto industry. So yeah, I wanna I, personally I wanna see how many web two developers we can get into uh, web three via you know GNOLAND. Yeah, that's it's definitely like uh, you know one of the one of the most promising things about no land. More, I mean, more specifically, no laying, right? Like no laying, yes. right? Is is that like literally you can write if you know how to write GoLang, you can write this because it, it basically is a compiler that takes um, everything that you write in the Go language and it takes it and processes it into something that this can understand. So it's it's really accessible if you already know how to do it, and and Go is not terribly difficult to learn. It, you know, obviously, you're the master that kind of thing. Um, but this is something that there's a ton of documentation. Um, you know, no no land is like basically trying to be the source of documentation. Envelope is here creating documentation, but if you know how to code Go, like you can hop in here and and kind of have have an idea of what you're doing instead of just being in like this foreign world. Where you don't know what you're doing. That actually kind of it leads to my next question. Like, um, what kind of problems did you face when you first started working on No, and how did you overcome them? Uh, when we first started develop, developing uh, Adena and GnoScan, there were uh, no tools or uh, libraries that we can use. So we had to uh, build this from the scratch. And um, yeah, since uh, Gnoland is in active development, uh, we always uh, need to be flexible to make a change, which is like really hard for developers. You know, you have to like develop this, knowing that you gotta make a change later. So, yeah, we uh, had this uh, experience, uh, but. Um, Whenever we have like this, these technical issues, uh, the the core members of Gnoland are always there to help. You know, if you uh, face any uh, issues, you can just open an issue in Gno GitHub, or um, you know, send ask ask in uh, Gno Discord. They're really uh, supportive, and yeah, they they will uh, find a way to support you. That's awesome. I'm, I'm actually like, I'm kind of actually proud to hear that. Yeah, the, the team is really cool. Like they're, they're very like transparent and like genuine and yeah, know, right. Obvi a lot of the time they're just really busy, but like they will take the time to help if, if, if they can. And yeah. that actually, they're actually like, um, I just wanted to plug in real quick if, if possible. Like, um, if you are interested in, in contributing, like, please start here at this developer portal, go check out the, the no lang. The, the no repo and that's that's where these guys are hanging out like everyone's there contributing they're, they're putting out prs and issues and and just trying to get this thing you know off the ground we're we're still like game of realms phase one there's a lot of ways that you can contribute and i imagine these tools that on block has um here when you know when phase two hits we're going to need an explorer we're going to need a wallet there's going to be people writing realms all over the place it's going to be super exciting so i'm I'm stoked. And I'm glad yeah, you, you guys are here on blog. Yeah, I, I want to mention that um, Jay and Manfred, the uh, leaders of Arknoland, they are really uh, supportive and they've got a uh, you know good heart. Like, you know, when we started on blog, uh, they, you know, whenever we face any technical issues or, uh, you know, want to know the direction of the uh, Gnoland, they always, you know, answer and provide support. So, yeah, it, it will be a good chance for you to um, build your application in Gnoland. 
I think so too. Um, hey, Dong Wan. So, you know, mm-hmm. uh, I heard that you guys are going to go to um, to Biddle Asia, right? In South Korea? Yeah, South Korea. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to shoot a plug there for you. Like, if, if anyone's watching this, um, if you guys are heading out to Biddle Asia, um, Unblock is going to be there. I know the, some of the No Core team is going to be there. Um, and there is going to be an in person side event. Um, I believe, uh, was it, I believe it's Cosmos Station, Code Stacks, uh, No Land, and Onblock are going to be there, right? Yeah, right. Uh, so we're doing, uh, this offline meetup in, uh, June 5th. So yeah, if you happen to be in Korea, you should, uh, visit our, uh, venue and yeah share uh what we have oh man i'm kind of sad i'm not going to be cool to be cool to meet everybody <laughs> <laughs> well that's um i think that's a that about wraps it up thanks so much dong one thanks for showing us all those apps thanks for showing us the, the portal thanks for being awesome uh, really cool to meet you and I hope you know I hope everyone watching this kind of got a little substance out like no land is moving we do have stuff building on blocks on it <laughs> mm-hmm. on yeah, blocks uh, on the block thanks for um inviting me and uh yeah it was a pleasure uh sharing my uh, journey in Knoland and I hope if you're looking for a new uh, layer one or contribution to the blockchain ecosystem please have a look at uh, Gnoland. Awesome. Thanks so much, Tom. Yeah, thank you so much. Ciao.